from Tampa Bay streaming news leader. This is ABC Action News. Well, hello and good morning. I'm James Tully. It is, of course, Election Day. We'll get you all caught up in a moment. Greg D has your full weather forecast to a chilly start to this morning, but Let's get to your headlines first. The pandemic has completely changed the voting process. Social distancing being enforced. Masks required once you get inside a polling place. Plexiglass barriers are separating poll workers from voters. And pens aren't being reused. Booths also are socially distanced. The CDC encourages everyone to bring a mask, stay six feet apart in line. And experts say COVID-19 is the main issue affecting how people will vote today. In two tiny New Hampshire towns, the votes have already been counted. Dixville Notch votes for president, votes for the president right after midnight. This year, five people voted. They all picked former Vice President Joe Biden. And in nearby Millsfield, 16 people voted for President Donald Trump, and five people went for Biden. Now, cities around the country are preparing for the possibility of Election Day protests. The White House just put up temporary fencing that cannot be climbed. Many businesses are also boarding up in New York City, L.A. and Minneapolis. Business owners are taking precautions in the event of some unrest. If you are voting today, be sure to check our voter guide. We have a county by county look at polling locations, an in-depth look at what's on the ballot. To view it all, just go to abcactionnews.com slash vote and be sure to download the ABC Action News app for election coverage on the go. We will update you on any issues throughout the day and let you know when the results are reported. In Turkey, more than 100 people have died in an earthquake, but rescue crews continue to pull survivors from the rubble. A three-year-old rescued just 65 hours under a collapsed apartment building yesterday, and crews also pulled a 14-year-old girl from the rubble of a building. And this morning, another girl was rescued from that wreckage. Back in town, an Ybor City restaurant is recommending that recent customers get tested for COVID-19 after several staff members tested positive. The Bricks Ebor says in light of positive tests, it made the call Sunday to temporarily close for two weeks. The business says it recommends you get tested if you've been there over the last 10 days. The Buccaneers get a win last night over the New York Giants on Monday Night Football, squeaking one out. Let's go now to Greg D with your forecast. Hey, Greg. Happy to see that this morning when I woke up. Hello, everybody. Election Day it looks like an amazing day out there. Uh, whether you're heading to vote in the morning, midday, or the afternoon, the weather is not going to be an issue. The one thing you may want to consider is a jacket or a sweatshirt early this morning. If you're heading out to the polls before 10 o'clock, you're going to need that as temperatures are in the 50s early. By midday, we're in the mid-70s, and this is going to be an absolutely perfect afternoon with highs in the upper 70s. We're tracking Ada in the Western Caribbean, and your seven-day forecast it's in our app right now.